Hi, how do you do, Katie? My name is Jim Ryan. I'm one of the doctors here. Thanks a million for coming in. Hi, Dr. Ryan. Thanks for seeing me today and thanks for fishing me in. It's no problem at all. Um, how can we help you out today? I'm not sure if it's something or nothing, uh, Dr. Ryan, but I just thought I should come in to you. I'm a little bit concerned. I've been having these kind of funny flutters in my chest. Okay. Um, I suppose it started about two months ago, but kind of feeling my heart jumping out of my chest. Um, and I suppose it wasn't bothering me too much then, but it's, I suppose it's a bit more frequent now at the moment. Mm. So I, I just thought I'd better come in and see what you thought if I need to do anything about it. No, that's good. I'm glad, glad you come in about that. Um, and just tell me exactly kind of, what did that flutter feel like to you? It feels like, I suppose it, it feels like two things. It feels like my heart's racing really fast and it feels like it's jumping out of my chest. Like a, a feel, I can feel a pounding in my chest. Um, and I suppose it lasts nearly about a half a minute and then it kind of settles down. Okay, so it's, it's lasting quite, quite a long yeah, time when yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah. And how long has, has this been going on for now in total? I first noticed it about two months ago. Okay. Yeah. And has it been getting worse over time? It has, yeah, to be honest. Like now last week it was two or three times and that, that kind of made me say, no, I need, I need to go in and get this checked out. And were you having any other other symptoms with it, like maybe some shortness of breath or any chest pain or dizziness? I hadn't been, no. Um, I wasn't really getting any shortness of breath or dizziness. You know, th with, the, with the funny episodes until last week, I was out hiking with my son um, and we were doing a pretty steep climb and I suppose I wouldn't be that used to that kind of thing anyway, but when we were getting towards the top, I really thought I had a real squeeze in my chest. Yeah, and it put the frighteners on me, to be honest. And when you got that discomfort in your chest, what, what, what did you do? Well, I suppose I, I told my son, we sat down for about 10 minutes, and, and like thankfully it did pass. It settled but, uh, down. Yeah. And were you having the, the funny beating at that stage? I had kind of a couple of minutes before, had the funny beats, okay. and then this squeeze, like a real tightness, like, I don't know how, like a, like a real elastic band around my chest. And then when we sat down, it seemed to pass. And when you had that tightness, did that pain go anywhere else? Did it go into your jaw or down to your arm? No, no, it didn't. It just stayed right there, you know, just right in the centre. And have you been getting much shortness of breath or have you been working hard with the breathing much lately when you're exercising? Well, I suppose I don't really exercise much, but just at that moment, I did feel kind of short of breath and kind of caught up in myself, yeah. And do you have any history of these kind of funny heartbeats coming in the past when you were younger or anything? No doctor, this is all new in the last two months. You know, I've been fit as a fiddle. I've never, you know yourself, I've never really been here. Mm. So, yeah. And are you taking any medications at the moment? No, I don't take anything at all. And you don't have any medical problems yourself? No, no. Oh. Any weight loss recently? No, nothing like that. Any ankle swelling? No, no. Any kind of shakes? No, nothing like no that. No history of thyroid disease yourself or in the N family? No, not that I know of, no. Any history of diabetes in the family? No, no. Um, and just heart disease in particular, would anybody in your family have suffered with the heart, parents or... Yeah, yeah, Dr. Ryan, that's probably part of kind of what triggered me to come in. Um, my father died of a heart attack when he was about 52. Um, and then my brother, Tommy, he had a triple bypass last year. Uh, I think Tommy was 53 when he had that. So. You're, you're 48 now. I'm 48 yeah. now, so I suppose I'm conscious that my age is creeping up and that there is a family history there. Mm. That's understandable. Mm. Um, and do you have any history of smoking yourself? I did smoke about, I gave them up about 10 years ago. Okay, that's very good. Yeah, so no, I was happy to happy Would you take it. alcohol on a regular basis? I suppose I would, to be honest. I'd usually have maybe two glasses of wine in the evening. And would that how much would be in the glass of wine usually? I suppose it'd be half a bottle, a bottle over two nights. Okay. Yeah. And at the weekends, would you take? I would. I'd have maybe the odd gin and tonic on top of that at the weekend. Okay. Um, and any illicit drug use? No, like nothing. No, sure. I'm married now with children. But I suppose back in college, you know, I suppose in my last year of college, I, I would have had a, taken a bit of cocaine, but really nothing, nothing and since then. And would you then. ever had these funny heartbeats when? You would have taken that in the past? Not that I remember, Doctor, to no, be honest, no. Um, and, and anything else that you've noticed in association with, with these 
kind of funny heartbeats. No, I, th I think just as I was saying, just that they're, they're getting more frequent and I suppose I'm just a bit worried about the family history. That's kind of the main mm -hmm. concern at the moment. And how's that affecting you in work? Is it, has, has it been a problem for you in work at all? Have you gotten any of these episodes? I suppose I have had a few at work kind of on the really, really busy days. Um, but I don't think that's the root of the problem, mm. you know, like it, it is busy. I run my own investment company, so it is, you know, it's, it's hard work, it's long hours, but I think I cope quite well and yeah. my husband's a teacher and um, so he works shorter hours and he's off during the summers, so he helps out an awful lot. So I think I've been managing that quite well, like that did cross my mind is, is the stress that's bringing mm. this on. But no, I think, you know, I've been doing this job now for 10 years and nothing new in the last couple of months that, that would make it any more stressful than usual, okay. to be honest. And have you been drinking much tea or coffee recently? Because sometimes that can bring on... Yeah, I'd heard yeah. that. I'd have about three cups of coffee a day, but it wouldn't be the strong, strong no. stuff, just the, 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 instant. the instant, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to just tap out the, the heartbeat that you feel when it comes on, if you can. I know it might be a bit difficult to do. Yeah, it's kind of like... I'm, I'm do, doing my own daily routine or whatever I'm normally doing and then all of a sudden I get this kind of like bum 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 so it's very yeah very fast really fast like it would really kind of shock you you know it kind of makes me you kind of stand up you kind of have to up. stop whatever you're doing yeah you'd be very aware of it that kind of thing and you were saying you're getting some dizziness with it a little bit yeah like occasionally but not all the time and the chest all. tightness when you were going up the hill that was just the once but it's been going on now for just over two months, is it? Two months in total, but the, the chest tightness was just last week, and I suppose that was what really frightened me. And it's been kind of increasing in, in frequency and severity over the last little yeah. while, especially. Exactly, yeah, like three times at least last week, you know. And I think you're worried about, obviously, the, the heart itself, given yeah. the trouble that your dad and your, your brother... Exactly, yeah, this. yeah, that's, I suppose, my big concern. So I think we should do, you know, just a, a full examination today, mm. um, checking out how the heart is beating, if it's good, good. beating regularly, and check the blood pressure, check your weight and height, just to see what your body mass index is. Okay. Um, and then we'll do a full examination of the heart and lungs, just all over. Okay. Um, and then we might just have a chat and see see exactly what we think, and just come up with a plan then, if that's okay. Okay, doctor, that, that sounds that sounds good. The examination. Uh, Blood pressure 152 on 95, heart rate 68, regular, um, rest of the exam is normal. Um, so just an examination of the heart rate, it's regular today which is good, but good. I'm sure you would have known that since you, you, Yeah, you, I don't you have, have it had, yeah, you there today. You would have had those symptoms um, if it was there. Your blood pressure was just a little bit elevated okay. at the moment. so. We might look into that in a little bit more detail. Mm. Obviously, this is a just a once-off reading, yeah. Um, and people can have very good variation in their blood pressure throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So, to get more of a true reflection of where it's at, we'd usually do what's called an ambulatory blood pressure monitor. Okay, that's the one you put in the arm, is it for the day? Yeah, and okay. you'd wear it, you know, going about your yeah. your, your everyday business, um, then you can drop sense. it back into us, and then we'll have a look at that and how it is over the day and we'll look at the averages and if the averages are over mm. over a certain certain level then we might recommend a medication to help control it okay um, but there's other things that you can do to help out with the blood pressure as well right. like exercise reducing alcohol reducing caffeine so they're kind of small okay. things that you could do yourself in the meantime yeah um yeah no i was thinking about that the examination of your heart today was normal. You didn't have any swelling around the ankles. Good, good. Um, and, you know, the lungs were all, they, they sounded clear. So, you know, that's all reassuring. Um, I think we do need to do some investigations to look into this okay. in a little bit more detail, especially given your family history. Mm. Um, I think it's important to do an ECG test, which is just a test that we do to look at yeah. the electrical activity in the heart. And that can give us clues as to whether there might be an irregularity okay. and how the impulse is being conducted through the heart or if there's areas of the heart that aren't getting enough oxygen right. or if there's areas that the muscle might be a little bit thickened and so on. Okay. 
if that's so normal. that'll be a good look at the heart itself yeah that's kind of a, a, a it gives us a small interval look at it so it might okay. not capture this irregularity sometimes we need to do a longer ecg test what's called a whole term monitor mm. or even a longer one again over a five day period called an event monitor okay to try and capture this because you know, like from what you've described, you're getting it intermittently. Yeah. It's not there all the time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, so I think it'd be important to do that. If the ECG test is negative, I think it, we should do what's called a stress test. So to get you to put your heart under a little bit of pressure to see if it's getting enough oxygen at that stage. Okay. Um, I think my brother might have had, is that the treadmill test? Yeah. Okay. So they, they get, get you to do a good bit of running on that okay. to, to, oh. to really stress it out. Um, I think it'll be important to get some fasting blood tests as well. Okay. So to look, make sure there's no sign of any diabetes, check mm. the fasting cholesterol, um, and to look at it, a, okay. a few other different bits and pieces, like the thyroid function test, because sometimes that can cause right. an irregularity with the heartbeat as well. The only thing, Dr. Ryan, I'm going to Hong Kong with work in two weeks' time. You know, you, now that you've looked at the heart today and everything seems good, do you think I could hold off on those tests till I get back or would you want me to have them before I go? I, th I think it's important to you know, get some of the tests okay. sorted out quite soon because obviously the symptoms that you're having were quite severe mm -hmm. and obviously not dealing with it. If mm -hmm. it was something serious, yeah. um, you know, potentially you could get a heart attack like your... your yeah, that's I suppose that's your, my your brother. Yeah, your, my your brother. brother. Um, and that would be my biggest worry. Okay. You know, delaying those might put you at risk. So I think it'd be important to get the tests done sooner rather than That's later. That's the safest option, you think? Yeah, and we can certainly okay. arrange nearly yeah. all of those for before you go away. Great. Um, and the likelihood is that you know everything will be okay with the tests. So we might get you to do just some modifications in terms of your lifestyle, yeah. a little bit more exercise, some dietary changes to help to try to you know, improve the cholesterol profile if that's necessary okay. or reduce your risk of, you know, diabetes in the future. Um, obviously, you're not smoking at the moment, which is fantastic. Um, reducing the alcohol intake might help yeah. to reduce the blood pressure. Reducing the caffeine intake might help to reduce the likelihood of you getting these palpitations or regularities in the heartbeat again. Okay. Do you have any questions about anything? Because I know that's an awful lot of information. Yeah, on, on no, I think I'm pretty clear now, Dr. Ryan. I'm, I'm glad I came in and, and I think you're right. If you think these tests need to be done before I go to Hong Kong, you know, I'm definitely going to take your advice and get them done. Yeah, I, I think that'd be good. Um, and certainly, you know, we can have a look at all the results and yeah. see if we need to take it any further, like, you know, talking to a cardiology doctor okay. or anything like that. Okay. Is that okay? Thank you so much. It was lovely to see you. Thanks a million. Thank for you. It was a pleasure no to see problem. you. No problem.